Good morning everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So today is actually the 5th of July. Now you may be thinking, Aaron, where were your 4th of July vlog? Like what did you do for the 4th? And the honest answer to that is we stayed in all day long and watched Love Island. This is how I'm spending the 4th of July. Got my McDonald's, got my Love Island ready. I would watch the new Stranger Things because it did drop last night. However, I want to save it all for the plane and watch it on the flight back home. So I'm being sensible. I'm going to try and catch up on some Love Island. We basically Googled a bunch of things and like looked into any like celebrations going off around the area that we're in. And we could couldn't find anything that we really wanted to go to. There were a few things there, and, but then we were like, well, we don't really know what to do for the 4th of July. Obviously, we're not American. We don't celebrate National Independence Day. Like, what do we even do? We felt a bit out of place. So we just stayed inside all day long, which was kind of nice because we've not had a day off since we've been here. But they were, in fact, an earthquake. So I'm going to insert the footage from that yesterday because that's something that I did film. I did try and vlog yesterday, but we literally just ended up staying in and went for food in the evening. But there was nothing really to film. However, I did film in the morning when the earthquake actually happened. I was I was sitting in the bathroom and I just went like this and there were a fucking earthquake like the building's still moving So we were all stood in the door frames because we don't have earthquake training in the UK So I don't know what the fuck you meant to do in an earthquake. That was my first earthquake experience I fully got yeeted across the bathroom. I was moisturizing my leg. So I had one leg up. So I just went whoop yes. Wow. Oh, so today we are actually heading to what is the <gasps> What is that bug? Anyway now you're all caught up with that today We are actually heading to Rodeo Drive and that sort of area around Beverly Hills We're gonna go shopping on Rodeo Drive. I say shopping on Rodeo Drive. We're gonna win shop on Rodeo Drive and then we're gonna walk around Beverly Hills I think we're gonna try and go to the Beverly Hills Hotel just find some picturesque places just have a little wander around it's kind of early in the morning which is why it's kind of grey out but hopefully it warms up a little also I have got a jumper on and shorts because you know cold right now but it'll get warm in the evening so kind of trying to win at this situation what on earth are you doing? just been shopping up and down Rodeo Drive for a little while. We have been in the Louis Vuitton exhibition thing which was really really cool, you'll have just seen that. It's been a little while like I said, we are going to head into Cheesecake Factory now, have some food and then go back to the other side because we've done like one strip of the road and we're going to do the other strip with like Dior and stuff on there. So I'm just popping in to this vlog, just to let you know, I didn't film much on Rodeo Drive and the footage that I did get, like it's just boring, it's me saying, oh my god, we're going into this shop, so I literally cut out all the speaking and just put a bunch of montage shots in because what you're about to see is us after an earthquake, like the big earthquake that happened in LA. Here's us literally after it and it follows on with a clip of me being like, let's pack an earthquake bag. Now I'm watching this bag and it all seems really dramatic to us to do this. Obviously I'm doing it in like a comedic way. I'm like taking the piss, packing an earthquake bag, like a pack with me, high saturated YouTuber video. Pack with me for an earthquake. The reason we got told to pack for an earthquake is because we've got friends that live in LA and they've lived in LA for years. And they said, just in case like a big earthquake hit during the night, pack a bag that you can just pick up if you have to move somewhere. Or say for example, we all want to like stay together we want to like go to our friend's house at least then we've got a bag that we can literally just chuck on our backs instead of having like a big ass suitcase so even though we didn't need it in the end thank the lord we just packed it because like people had told us to you know i thought it were all really dramatic and funny which is why i'm making a joke out of it but i don't wait to watch it and be like oh my god these dumb bitches because oh my god these dumb bitches is correct so do definitely say that about us um so hi everyone we're back in the apartment now as you can probably see it is currently what time is it anyone anyone what the fucking time it is currently 9.23 and about 50 minutes ago we just felt like a really big earthquake. Oh, I'm going to see My head's shaking. shaking. I hate this shit. <laughs> I fully think we're going to be in the middle of a mass earthquake. I'm really scared of our tsunami. Like, she's going to shit out of me. Yesterday's one we were laughing and joking and stuff. <laughs> 
Yesterday's one we were laughing and joking and stuff. Today's one we're packing our suitcases, bitch. I don't really know what to do or what the situation is. Hi guys, welcome back to my pack with me for an earthquake. So we have this supreme duffel bag. So in my duffel bag, I'm going to pack the essentials, my Balenciagas. I love how we're laughing. If anyone finds this footage and I'm dead, please edit it together really fun and upload it to my YouTube channel and call it something like, pack with me for LA. Um, I'm gonna pack my clean pants, my new pants. How many earthquake pants? Are these earthquake proof? I am joking about this, but I'm joking because it's my coping mechanism of being actually frightened to death. So. <laughs> I think because everyone else is really panicked by it, it's making me panic and I'm trying to be the one that doesn't panic so I'm making jokes and if we die, at least I'll die laughing on the outside. Oh, almost forgot the grey pair. <laughs> do you know if I pack this overnight bag for nothing? How many pants do I need? I've never really experienced an earthquake to tell you I've got how many one, pants. two, three. Five. I'm going to be so embarrassed that we've sat and packed a bag. <laughs> In nine days when we go home on play, we'll be like, remember when we packed that bag because we thought we were going to die? How many outfits have you got? Well, I've got one for evening, one for night. Do you think we'll go out? Do I bring a dressy outfit or just casual? <laughs> Is anyone packing a dressy outfit or just keeping it casual? I've got a house of CB dress, I don't need to put it in. So in this box is my pride possession, my black Balenciaga triple S's. And here's a really humbling moment for me. I'm leaving them behind. Here's footage of me putting them in the suitcase. I like to stay grounded. Right, I'm not gonna lie, I know this was a joke and this pack for me weren't real, but look at me compared to these guys who are actually contemplating an earthquake. This is a joke. <laughs> so here's little on me thinking I'm all packed and ready to rock and roll. My three fucking best shirts are hung and ready to wear. Would have left these babies behind. Welcome back to my vlog channel. So I haven't actually started my vlog today and it is now the afternoon. It's six o'clock. Yeah. Good evening everyone. Good night everyone. I don't know what the hell's going on. Basically, I haven't vlogged yet as you can imagine. There's been a few clips before this because we woke up this morning. I actually woke up really early this morning because we were going to go on the Hollywood hike. Has Freya and Anna actually did the Hollywood hike. And me and Ella decided to stay in because I had a lot, a lot of editing to do. So I'm now woke up with my editing. I also had some emails and stuff to catch up on that I haven't been doing over the course of the time that we've been here. So I just really needed a day, even though we had a day the other day, I really needed a morning, so should I say, to sit and actually catch myself up. So we left the house at like half past one. We went to a few vintage stores on Melrose and then we walked to Earth Cafe, which is where we've just finished. Now we're currently walking back to Melrose. I've already done some shopping from a vintage store, which I will show you when I get back. But I just thought I'd start the vlog, even though I've already started the vlog, but I've not actually spoken to the camera yet. So hi, Earthquake Day 2. I don't know what the hell's happening with that. We're speaking to the guy in Earth Cafe just then about it and he was like yeah it's probably gonna happen again it's probably gonna be worse so we were just sat there like yeah you can't wait for that anyway we're gonna walk back up Melrose go in a few shops and just see just see what happens you know hi everyone so we are back from shopping now I haven't filmed anything all day mainly because I've been complaining about the big blister on my toe so been pretty occupied. But we went to a few vintage shops on Melrose and Fairfax. I'm gonna give you a little haul, you know. So first of all, I got this lovely blue t-shirt, which is actually Ella's. There you are, honey bun. So I bought two things from one shop called American Vintage, and then I got something from a different shop called Buffalo Exchange, I believe. First thing I got is this whole Helly Hansen, like, racer jacket type thing. I don't know what this is meant to be worn for. Well, I've wanted a jacket like this for the longest time, and I actually saw one on D Depop. I'll try it on and show you actually when it's tried on. But I saw one on Depop. I can't remember what brand it was on Depop that I saw, but I actually didn't buy it and it was like 50 pounds on Depop. It was Mustang actually. And I didn't buy it and then I regretted it ever since and I literally have a photo of it saved to my phone because I wanted it so bad. So I picked that up. That was, oh, I'm not going to know prices because she didn't give me a receipt. Oh, she did give me a receipt. She didn't give me a receipt. That's fun. I can tell you the overall total of the entire thing because it will buy one get one half price. So I picked up these black denim Levi's shorts as you can 
fancy, super fun, super fresh. Now I remember that these were £22. This was like £30. Oh, wait, I can work this out. The jacket was like £30.99 and this was like £22.99, I believe. But I bought these exact ones that I've got on right now. Don't know if you can see. They are actually all Levi's and I got these from Urban Outfitters last year. And I think I paid like £45 for them from the like reclaimed vintage section. I wanted a black pair, but I didn't want to pay another £45 for a pair. And then I walk in the shop and see a bunch of Levi's jeans. So I haven't yet tried these on. I'm praying that they fit. They are my waist size, but I'll have to let you know in the try on clips how I like these. And then in the book Buffalo Exchange place we went in. I found these really cool Tommy jeans. As you can see, it says the little Tommy thing there, it on the leg there as well. And I've wanted some super, super big, oversized, but yet comfy jeans because I have a lot of oversized black trousers, but they like more of a canvas material. I wanted some softer denim ones. So I picked these up, they're literally huge. It's my waist size, like they fit on my waist, but the leg's just super, super wide leg. I don't know how I like them. I tried them on in the store with like a leather fitted belt. So I want to wear a belt that's more like I can pull it tight off. And these were 20 $25 as well, so for literally Tommy jeans, what we sell at Urban Outfitters, I say we like I still work there. What Urban Outfitters stock in the UK, they sell these for like £80. In fact, they're more than that, aren't they? I think they're like 100 and something, aren't they? Alright, so these are the jeans that I tried on in the store that I was a little unsure about. As I said, I wore like a more leather fitted belt in the shop. I couldn't really pull them tight up, but I really like them, as you can see. Where's the little thing? Oh, it's on this side. The little Tommy Hilfiger thing. They're really baggy and flowy. I put them on with an outfit that I would probably wear them with. I Maybe not this t-shirt, just because this is really baggy. I'd probably like wear a more fitted white t-shirt. Your boy is impressed with this purchase, you know? These are the shorts that I bought. As you can see, really fun, really fresh. They're literally identical to the blue ones that I have, but black. And I'm kind of gassed about it. And then this is the jacket that I bought, as you can see. It's like a... Oh wow, thanks. I saw someone wear one not long ago. Maybe it was Kendall Jenner and I was like, oh my god. It's either Kendall Jenner or Gigi Hadid. And it looks really, really cool, so... Hi, Kendall! I don't know, I think it's really, really cool, and it fits really well as well, so it's a win from that. I think in total I spent like $60, and I got a Helly Hansen jacket, Levi's jeans, and Tommy Hilfiger trousers. I don't feel like I could have got any of them for that price, and here we are, winning!